Hello and welcome to RESTful APIs with Eva and Mongo. This is your host, author, and instructor, Nicola Yarocci. And I am really excited to share how you can leverage the HIP framework to build and deploy powerful yet simple REST services in Python. So let's start with a quick overview of where we're going. First, we will look at what tools we'll be using during the course and how to install them. Maybe you are already confident with some of them, or maybe you aren't. Either way, I suggest you tag along so you get an idea of what's needed for the course and don't have to catch up later on. Next, we'll look at REST itself, what REST actually is, why it is important, and what are some of the core principles that you really want to understand before you even start building a REST service. We'll also look at a few examples of very well-known REST services just to get an idea of what is out there and what kind of service we aim to build. Next up is Flask. Flask is a simple and elegant micro web framework. The E framework itself is built on top of Flask, so making ourselves acquainted with Flask makes a lot of sense. In this lecture, we will actually build a simple Flask application. Since Eve shares so many features with Flask, our newly acquired skills will come in handy once we move up to the E framework itself. What will follow is an introduction to the E framework, what features it brings to the table, why and how it allows us to quickly build and deploy powerful RESTful web services, and what are its core concepts and philosophies. Once we are done with this lecture, we will have a much cleaner idea of what we can do with this technology and why it is so useful to us. As you probably know already, Mongo is a scalable, high-performance NoSQL database. In my opinion, it makes for an excellent choice as a data backend for RESTful services. In this lecture, we will glance at the features that make Mongo a good match for the HIP framework and the reasons why, of all possible databases, I picked Mongo as the default backend for HIP. All right, at this point, we will be ready to build our first RESTful services. In this hands-on section, we will make ourselves comfortable with HIV. We will look at the typical application structure and the settings needed to tailor our app to suit our specific use case. Finally, we will write some code which will allow us to launch our service. Since we have a working service now, we we'll probably want to consume it with some kind of client. In this section, we will look at how to consume a REST service with Python, JavaScript, and other tools. Of course, because REST is not confined to Python or any other specific language or stack, what we will learn here will be useful to access all kinds of RESTful web services, not just our own. Now that we are capable of sending and receiving data in a RESTful way, we want to make sure data coming in is properly validated. This is a vital part of our data service, as you can imagine. In this data-focused lecture, we will look at how EVE allows to easily set up powerful data validation rules. Not only that, we will also see how we can leverage some advanced EVE features to circumvent some of the Mongo limitations, like the lack of joins. And finally, real-world services. This is where our EVE service grows up and becomes a mature and fully featured RESTful service. We will look at queries and how we can fine tune all kinds of query related features. We will address stuff like pagination, sorting, client and server projections, conditional requests, concurrency control, JSON and XML rendering, etc. We will also get our feet wet with the security management and access control, and of course, production deployment. <laughs>